Okay, well today we are someplace different. Someplace we have not been in a very long time for no specific reason, just because. Um, but we are at Fayetteville Antique Mall and it's been quite a while since I've been here. But today we are picking up a, ca uh, I don't know, a display case giant thing. One of those. Um, and so Andrew is on his way with a truck and trailer. I've been sitting here waiting for him. I guess he went the long way. I don't know why. I told him you should go this way. He went that way. So I've been sitting here waiting for him, but I'm not going to wait any longer. I'm going to head in and see what we can find that we can flip for a profit because it's been about a year since we've been here. So let's go see what we can find. Here we go. All right. So this is one of the display cabinets. Then I think that there is another one over here. This one. So those are the two display cabinets and they were $25 each. Okay, so I'm not sure how the music is going to pick up on this new camera, but I'm going to try my best not to have to do a voiceover. So I did kind of wander to the back here where it was less noisy and I started decided that this is the place to start filming. <laughs> Got this little guy right here. 650 Occupied Japan. It is 20% off, but um, I feel like that's too much for us. It is a good price for it, but um, when I'm trying to buy stuff for resale, that makes it tough. I've got some figurines in here. I spotted that one right immediately that it is low leak, so that is quite nice. Um, Got some nice pieces in here. I really like this. It's Haviland. It's got peacocks on it. They have it marked for $55 though. I don't know if we can do $55. Just not sure. What do we have down here? McKee 1930 ship bowl with lid. I'm gonna have to think about the peacocks. I feel like $55 is high. This guy is kind of great, isn't he? He's got fun lines. Octagon Rooster. He's got a fun shape. He's in Japan. How much was he? 12. All right. Art glass. All right, let's go around the corner because I did see some pottery peeking up. All right, so I did want to look through here mostly because I spotted those guys up there. Now they are 35, 25, and I think the little guy is 12. So, uh, it's like right on, right on the cusp of being worthy of resale and just, I can't just quite do it. Look at the birds. Look at these birds. Alabaster stone. $30 for the birds. Oh, they're great. Look at these panthers over here. I love the white one. Let's say 75 for the black panther. Oh, Wait. she's in the booth. I was coming to bring her too. <laughs> the black panther is 75. was not that dark glass up here? There's no price one? on the whole. I did, yeah. It's a jack in the pulpit. It's cute. It's not as fancy as my last jack in the pulpit. Like the Hagers, though. the real Hager. I know, they're just like, they're just right at that rock. cusp. Did you look at that? No. It's a little rough. I didn't use 25 yeah. block us too much. So I should I was off. I've been looking at it for a while. Ooh, here's a pretty little dish. This is only $5. I'll so take that for five. What else do we have as far as glass goes? What is that creature? What do we have in here? Open sesame. What in the world is that? What is that thing? Well, that's kind of cool looking. What kind of animal is it? It's a, it's a wampus. <laughs> Dompus. It has no price on it. It looks like somebody just dropped a <laughs> dump of glass and then formed oh my it into gosh. something crazy is looking. No. Price no. No yeah. price. You won't buy you one or less than that? Yeah. I would be. 
I don't even know what kind of creature it is. <laughs> We'll call it a turtle. <laughs> it's a hippo turtle miss. <laughs> and then I did see this, which I think is Joe St. Clair or Joe St. Cloud. It's $15. This is one of his designs, but it's not signed on the bottom. So I don't know if this was just an unsigned piece or maybe there was other people duplicating the design. I don't know. What else do we have in here? We've got this guy. Little horse head. I did. Oh I did, I saw it. Mm, it's a little cloudy, but I almost wonder if that's from just sliding across the table and not necessarily from, uh, from it not being anything special. This is interesting, and I saw another piece similar to this. Now this is crystal clear, made in Italy. Um, I don't believe that this is Murano. There's something, some, some funky thing about this. But um, this, for $5, I'll take that. These are really cute. They're Holt Howard, what? Now, it's such a shame that somebody, it looks like somebody else painted, like, the crest on them. I don't know about these guys. Oh my gosh, I should send a picture to Misty. She knows her whole Howard like no one I know. I'm probably going to send a picture to her. Be like, hey, are these worth $15? There's no discount. But also, before we get into that, let's come down here. And check these out because these are great. These are Tonala Mexican folk art pottery. Um, but this guy is only $9.50. And this guy is only $8. Ooh, and look at that snail. Is that our Ken Edwards snail? I don't know. It's possible. Maybe. I don't know. But I really like I'm, I'm I love Mexican folk art pottery. What can I say? But uh, I feel like I can double double my uh, my money on these. So I'm going to grab these guys, and uh, I'm gonna send Misty a picture of the Holt Howard chickies. Got another little birdie down here. This one is not signed anywhere, but it's only four dollars. So we can double that. We'll take that. Sure thing. Looks like we got a little treasure crab down here. Treasure crabs. Should we buy it in honor of George the Antique Nomad? We've been to Las Vegas once. Yep. That was fun. Now we never have to do that again. Oh, God. <laughs> it's not really our style. Goodness gracious. Yeah, I really didn't enjoy the topless women walking around. <laughs> not one bit. Oh, boy. That was so awful. <laughs> Oh, look at the lobster creamer. Vintage Christmas tag. Yeah, for the, for your packages. Yeah. For two oh, bucks. I like those. Yeah, these are these are. Oh, those are fun. Ones. I'm yeah. gonna want to use them though. <laughs> I thought these guys were cute. Elf on a shoe. They're cute, but I don't know about the mark on the bottom. It just makes me think like modern, right? Mm. The bottom mark looks... I mean, like, not modern, modern. M no, maybe. but, like, not as old as I would expect looking at this. Yeah. Like, I would expect it to be older than that. Hmm, what else do we have? No, these would have held the uh, Catholic Church. Oh, uh, really? Yeah, for flowers. Ooh. Altar vase. Okay. Says the Catholic boy. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> The Catholic school boy. It's been like a year since I've been yeah, here. So. Yeah, it's been a long Oh, there time. is a chip. Oh, look, I love how they did that. Oh, they that's pointed cool. to the chip. Yeah. That was so nice. Yeah. I like that. Hey, Andrew. Andrew, do you think Walter could ship this? Oh, uh, yeah, that's shippable. It's 30, but it's 50% off. So it'd be 15. Yeah. yeah, that's shippable. And it's Dogs by Nina. 
You know, I love the finding case. these pieces for good prices. It's a oh. cassette version. That's kind of cool. That is cool. Too bad we don't have a cassette player. I do. I do you? Not in the car, but oh. I have a cassette player. I mean, I would probably wouldn't try to listen to it. It's just kind of cool that it's in the original. I like it. It could go in your collection. It probably will for 50% off of $4. Yeah. 50% of... Or $8 <laughs> for four bucks, yeah. Really, really beautiful glass and pottery. I know they do, but the prices are I, untouchable. But it's at least worth showing to oh see some of the pieces God, that amazing. when you're out and about, you could be looking for, like this beautiful alabastro glass bird. I'm obsessed with that. The color and effect that and they have. look, this is a clear glass Murano owl. And I recognize the shape immediately. I mean, the pieces in here are just amazing. That one's 95, though. Oh, that's pretty. I'm worried about this. Though. I don't know if it's Moser. But you can look at it, too. Yeah, I'm not sure. I think I'm getting one of them. Yeah, that's where did you find that? Right over here. Oh. There's a pair. Yeah. You, you want them? What? Me? You found them. Okay. <laughs> I'm just worried about this paint loss. Yeah, that that's a much. shame. It might. They're 12 but, a piece. Oh, 12 a piece. But they're 30% off of $24. That would be. Yeah, I would check months. and see if they're Moser. Because they could right. be something else. If I, I, I just know people buy this. Yeah, yeah. It's <laughs> fancy. Yeah. All right. So oh, she said there's some 1960. Vintage pieces here in this booth. What is this? Why does he have a hole in his head? You think that's 60s? I don't think it is. He's got a hole in his head. Does he hang? Oh, he's got a hole in his butt, too. All right. This guy's cute. Oh, yeah, a little chopper puppy dog. Seven oh, dollars. dated 1924. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Yeah, look at that. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, he's cool. I like Look him. The beds. Yeah, I picked that up earlier. It's marked USA. It's eight bucks. That makes me nervous. I think we'll grab that too. Yeah, absolutely. And there was one other item I saw. We have one of these at the house. It is. It's two dolls in one. Two dolls in one. It's a topsy turvy doll. We so have one of these at the house, yeah. but it doesn't have the pretty flowers on top. The popsicle purse. Yeah. And I figure if we grab this one for ten, we could do both of them at the same time. Yeah. I'm all for it. So we'll grab that. Here, give me that. I'll put these up front. Okay, I see some art glass in here. Look at this box first. I know, I was actually noticing that oh, too. 13 bucks? Are I know. <laughs> it's really pretty. Are you kidding me? That's killer. We yeah, that. okay. Let's stay here open. Let's see what it looks like inside. I hope it's okay. I hope it's okay. It looks okay. Yeah. The mirror's got a little bit of separation. It's got a little, needs oh a, look, there's my camera. <laughs> needs a wipe. Handmade in the Philippines. I kind of like that though. I do too. I like that. Okay. You're going to carry it up front she and look very room, fancy. Yeah. This is her booth in the top front corner and then in the back corner. Ooh. This stuff is up here. You might want to take a look at this. Uh, absolutely. Stuff. Let's check out this doll. Wooden doll. I like her. I'm not gonna be able to get her to sit back down. Oh, there we go. I did it. What is this? All right, let's go this way. I see this in here. And it's 50% off. California figurine. I thought that looked like a California pottery piece. Fortunately, she's got a chip there, so I think I'm gonna pass on her. I do like her though, she is quite nice. Up here, we've got a little art glass bowl. The pencil on that is rough, so mm, maybe not that one. Look at this shoe, oh, it's as is, darn. I wonder what as is about it. Whatever it is, I'm not seeing it. I'm not seeing it. I'm, I'm going to take their word for it. I'm not feeling it either. Oh, there's a little bit of a 
rough spot there. That's really cool. I like that shoe. Let's see what else we've got. Oh, hello. I like this. Oh, that's 24. All right, well, let's keep moving. That monkey back there is kind of great. I like the monkey. I'm afraid to move things around to find the price, though. I'm going to have to turn off the camera to do these things. $17 for the monkey. Is he marked guns? What is oh, he? Oh, do you guys know Stife? What it looks like? Somewhat. Yeah, look at the tag. Yeah, he's a gun. He's a gun, but he doesn't have a rubber face. He's got like a formed okay, face. I, I really like him. I think he's adorable. Yeah. I don't know. I guess those few days I spent with Misty wow. have, have just... I'll show you the way I was looking at. <laughs> now I'm buying stuffed animals. <laughs> I am in love with this giant gobel dog. It's $89, but it's just massive. Oh, he's so great. All right, so we're competing a little bit with the music, but we've got this vase right here. Uh, it's got this quilted pattern, which I like. It's $20. And I don't see any discounts. I'm gonna have to think about that one, but one of the reasons I turned my camera on was because of this piece up here. We've got a little bridal basket here. And I just really like it. I mean, not just I just really like it, but... It's so pretty. And they only want $12 for it. $12 for a bridal basket. Granted, it's not some elaborate, opalescent, Victorian piece, but... It is really pretty. I'm just going to make sure. Is that flash? No, it's not. Um, and it looks like there's even remnants of a sticker possibly at the bottom. But um, I really come across these bridal baskets with the actual stand. And so I think it's a great color for fall. And for only $12, I'm going to do it. Now, <laughs> now that I've explained my reasoning behind that one, I do want to look back here. First, I want to look at this. What do we have here? 39. Okay, never mind. <laughs> um, look at this. That's cool. 12 bucks. Is there a sale on the book? No, unfortunately, there isn't because I would get, get this. It? Yeah, I'm getting that. I wanted to get this, but I can't do it at 20, I don't think. But, That's probably about what I should go for. Yeah. Yeah. Got some nice stuff in here though. Yeah. I did not even realize that there was stuff hiding down here because this is actually lifted. It looks like they've got some treasures down here as well. We've got a carnival glass bowl with the orange tree pattern. They've got um, 3260 on that, it looks like. Oh no, that's two zeros. That's $32. And then the other piece I like is this one, which I'm gonna try to finagle out of there and this is marked germany Wellman germany but there actually isn't a price on this piece so we're gonna leave that one right here i'm gonna open this back up so it's not shut there we go um and then that back there is what i usually expect of a bridal basket um what is the price on that i'm gonna reach the price on that one is 22 so. so I think we did all right with this guy. So what's the company that makes them? Um, Bale. Okay. It's spelled B-A-Y-E-O. Okay. Um, I thought so they were Moser. Moser. No, they're not Moser. They're still pretty, but yeah. yeah. All right. <laughs> Let's check out these pieces right here. Oh. Got a boo boo right here. I already see it, so maybe not. We're just gonna keep moving. <laughs> Move along. Look at these guys. I'm salt. I'm pepper. Salt and pepper. I want that display case. That's beautiful. That's the one I want. That's a general store piece, probably. That's a great case. Yeah, it's fantastic. 
I love it. The back load, though, so you're going to have to put it to the front of the booth. Oh, well, that's okay. I can figure that out.